Clarissa Shields, the female professional multi-time world champion boxer who thinks that she can beat up other male professional boxers, is back in the news. And this time she's calling out the one and only, the future Hall of Famer, the best boxer of this era. That's right, guys. It's Jake Paul. Also, it seems like some of you, when I say this stuff, don't understand sarcasm and jokes. I'm joking. It's kind of sad that I have to say that I'm joking when I say that Jake Paul is the best boxer of this era. So yeah, if you don't know Claressa Shields by now, she's a six-time world champion, as far as I'm aware. She's boxed in the Olympics, and a lot of people consider her the GOAT of female boxing. She has an impressive record of 15-0. Only three KOs, I might add. That's just the way it is within these women's divisions. Not many KOs, unless you're smashing the gear. Now, Clarissa has went viral multiple times in the past for saying that she wants to fight a male boxer, specifically Keith Furman. She's also said that she knocks out male boxers in the gym all the time. Then footage surfaced of her a few months ago of her getting KO'd by a Russian no-name boxer. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. So she's got a lot of haters because she talks a big game about being able to beat male boxers. Then literally there's a video of her getting KO'd by a male boxer. So she did an interview on The Breakfast Club and the question gets brought up of what male boxer does she want to fight? And then that leads into the Jake Paul conversation then. Please. You too crazy. So Do you still want to fight a male boxer? Some of them. They be running their mouth. I still want to put my hands on a few of them. Yeah. Who in particular? Keith Thurman. I, I want to punch him in his mouth. So she calls out Keith Thurman once again. She can't keep his name out of her mouth. Now, don't get me wrong, Keith Thurman isn't Lomachenko level, but he's 30 and 1 with 22 KOs on his record. Clarissa Shields has only KO'd three women. Keith Thurman has KO'd 22 men. How do you think that matchup is going to play out for you, Clarissa? I know you said you want to punch him in his face, but Keith would absolutely dust you. Anyway, she transitions into talking about Jake Paul. Jake Paul is living rent-free in Clarissa Shields' head. Damn. And I don't care what y'all say. Jake Paul cannot beat me in no fight. Stop it. Did y'all watch the fight with Mike Perry? Skills pay the bills. And Mike Perry was not skilled at all. He all grit and mm. muscle. I mean, she's not really wrong there when she said about Mike Perry not really having the skills. Although Mike Perry is a skilled fighter. He's a skilled boxer within bare knuckle. And yeah, he has got the grit, he's got the toughness, but I thought that Jake Paul actually showed some pretty good fundamental skills in this fight. At the end of the day, to knock down Mike Perry, it is some achievement. I think what people tend to look over when we're talking about Jake Paul is the fact that he is still fighting professional fighters, okay? MMA fighters, bare knuckle fighters, wrestlers, so on and so forth, but it's still fairly decent competition for how little fights he's had. Am I on Jake Paul's side? No. Often when I do these videos, people think that I'm siding with Jake Paul. I'm not. I'm just presenting both sides of the argument, guys. It's okay to be a Jake Paul hater, but then also still say, hey, he's gotten better in the Mike Perry fight. He had decent footwork. And once again, when I say decent footwork, I mean decent footwork for his level. I'm not comparing him to Dimitri Bivol. Let's see what Clarissa says next. Jake Paul... He, so you he I said this so before. Bad, I got man. Clarissa over Jake Paul. Man, talk, man come on, man. Keep I don't care real. what y'all say. Charlemagne is such a kiss ass when it comes to the female guests. I know he's a bit of a troll, guys, but he doesn't half do my head. In. It's going to be quite some time before Jake Paul is able to convince people like Charlemagne that he's actually getting better as a fighter. Because let's face it, after he beats Mike Tyson, not if, after Jake Paul beats Mike Tyson. The obvious narrative is going to be, yeah, well, Mike Tyson was 58 years old, which I agree with. This fight shouldn't even be happening in the first place. Jake Paul needs to fight people his own age, his own size, his own skill level, if not a little bit more skilled than him. But look, you've got to accept he had two fights against professional no-name boxers and made a lot less money for them. So if he's got the opportunity to fight someone who's almost 60 years old, make a little 20, 30 million, or a professional boxer who's got the same amount of experience as him. Don't forget that professional boxer, they're going to have no brand awareness because if they're on the same level and experience level as Jake Paul, they don't have his social presence. 
that's what Jake is bringing to these fights at the end of the day. It's his social presence. That's why he is the A-side. It's not really because of his boxing skill. There's plenty of boxers out there who have similar experience level to Jake Paul, who would batter Jake Paul, but they just don't have the social presence. Therefore, there's no incentive for them to really fight those fighters. All right, okay, let's make a little 200, 300, 500k over here, boxing a no-name. Or I can make 10, 20 million fighting a 60-year-old. I mean, I'm not saying I'd do it, but I mean... I think I probably would. Now, we are talking about a 60-year-old Mike Tyson, which is still a terrifying thought. So now one of the hosts asks Clarissa, do you think Jake Paul's going to beat Mike Tyson? Be real. Okay, what y'all say? Be real. Be real. Over Jake so you Paul. definitely don't think he's going to beat Tyson then? With Tyson 58. We See, this what this will make, will make me mad with y'all. This is not an 18-year-old Tyson. 21, 30. This is 58. And this is where I agree with Clarissa. He's 58. It's Mike Tyson. But a lot of people are thinking of Mike Tyson as the 20, 30-year-old Mike Tyson. And that's not the case at all. Don't get me wrong. His pad footage, his sparring footage, looks great. He KO'd that heavyweight the other day. But sparring footage and pad work only gives us a limited view and a limited picture of what could potentially happen. We've covered people right here on this channel who look like absolute killers in sparring then get battered and listen guys remember that i say this right here right now if mike tyson wins that's good i am happy for tyson i want mike tyson to win this fight i want jake paul to be shut up and yet i will happily hold that l but typically it's going to be the safest bet to side with the fighter who's got youth on the side to side with the fighter who's got activity on the side to side with the fighter who hasn't been injured and on drugs for the last 10 years. And that's why I think that Jake Paul's gonna get this fight. He probably got like a good one, two, three good rounds in him. And if he don't knock Jake Paul out, then what? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to fight Jake Paul for really hurt Uncle Mike Tyson. I'm not even <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. I'm coming in the ring. I support that. What? I'm gonna be right front row. And there she's right. What if Mike Tyson doesn't KO Jake in the first three rounds? Is Tyson gonna be able to keep up that pace? for the full eight or 10 rounds. I don't know, I I'm not sure. I'm a little bit dubious about it. But anyway, Jay Paul, Mike Tyson aside, Clarissa Shields is a little bit delusional thinking that she would beat Jake Paul in a fight. Jake would absolutely smash her. Jake is a big guy. He's looking pretty juicy. No homo on that one. He uploaded this video the other day talking about who he's voting for in the election. Uh, spoiler alert, it's Trump. Let's go, Jake Paul. Went up in the books a little bit there. But you can see in his delts and his upper chest, he's thick. He's piled on a lot of muscle. He's fairly tall as well. He's about six foot, maybe six one on a good day. He's got fairly big hands, thick forearms, maybe even being on the gear as well. As you can see, look at him here. I mean, the guy's fairly big. <laughs> Clarissa Shields is listed as five foot eight. I think she fights at 140, 147 pounds. Jake Paul fighting at 200 plus. Jake Paul would absolutely smoke Clarissa Shields. Is Clarissa a better technical boxer? Has she got better fundamentals, better technique? Yeah, probably so, yeah. But listen, hate it or love it, Jake Paul's getting better and he can bang. <laughs> Don't charge at me, Tyson. Drink well, that guy was a big dude. He dropped him. We got another one. Might have to mute this. Copyright claim the other day. Like, this is all right work by Jake. He's got decent hand speed. You know, hooks can get a little bit sloppy sometimes. But, you know, he's landing on big fellas. If he can hang in there with fellas like these, what do you think he'd do against Clarissa Shields? Batter it. Someone said here, yeah. bro is sparring my drunk uncle. <laughs> Bro's hella uncoordinated. Jake gets to meet Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali in one night. Lucky guy. That's creative. What was that leg pickup thing? Yeah, that was a little bit funky. It was like he almost tried to feint a Superman punch. I've never seen that before in boxing, though. No. You watch right here. Watch Jake Paul's back right leg. Strange. Yeah, never seen that before. Seven-year-olds box better than him. Clown emoji. I don't have any experience in training. I'm sure if I trained for one year and stopped working just to train only, I honestly think I'd win against Jake. You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Jake's got like seven years of training. Also, this is bait. This is actual rage bait. You think of all the footage that Jake Paul's got, and he chooses to upload this where he looks a little bit uncoordinated at the times. His back foot's randomly lifting, and then he does it again there. He's doing it on purpose. He's trying to bait you into thinking that he's not that good. I guarantee going into this Mike Tyson fight that we probably see the best Jake Paul 
that we've ever seen. Clarissa Shields will get slept. Mike Tyson, I hope he sleeps Jay Paul. But I think that Mike Tyson's going to get slept. I actually don't. I don't think Mike Tyson's going to get KO'd. But I do think he's going to get tagged. I think Mike Tyson might actually have some cardio issues later on in the fight if he can't get Jake Paul out of there in the first round. But anyway, yeah, this video is about Clarissa Shields. What do you guys think of her comments? Do you think she would be able to beat Jake Paul? I think it would be a one-sided domination on Jake Paul's side, to be honest. And guys, once again, just a disclaimer, I'm not a Jake Paul fan. Every time he uploads a video like this, I get a stupid little divvy in the comments going, hey, you think Jake Paul's going to win? Unsubscribed! All right, fuck off then. Think I care? Fuck you! We use a little bit of logic here on the Sean Jones channel, not just emotion. Ah! Ah, oh, you disagree with me? Ah, ah, unsubscribe. Ah. Anyway, guys, yeah, this is all just jokes. Once again, I've got to say for all the sensitive snowflakes out there. Comment your thoughts below. Subscribe for daily content, and I'll see you tomorrow.